Hey y'all, today we're going to look at the same thing we did last time, except we're going to use the metric system, which is called the international system. And uh, it does, it is simpler um, because it's based on tens, but it's kind of like, kind of weird if you're not used to it anyway. It came, it came about in the French Revolution. That's one of the bad things that came about in the French Revolution. Actually, maybe you might argue. When I was a kid back in the 70s and taking the classes, the teachers were all panicked telling us, hey Dana, we're going to change to the metric system. We have to learn it. <laughs> So we're like all, everybody's panicking, running around. Well, you know, 40 something years later, we're still not using it, but it's okay. We don't use the, the French tried to install a 10 day work week as well to get rid of the, like the Christian, they thought influenced seven day week or whatever, but people could not get used to it. So they had to just give that up. Anyway, all right. The basic unit of length in the metric system is the meter. You should know about how long a meter is. It's a little more than 39 inches. It's a little more than a yard. So just make sure that's, you kind of get that in your head, okay? The meter, that's you know how long a meter is. A centimeter is one one hundredth of that. There are actually 2.54 centimeters in an inch. So an inch is a little more than uh, twice as much, uh, twice as long as a centimeter. A kilometer, sometimes pronounced kilometer, is a thousand meters. So anyway, okay, so let's make sure. The other part is the uh, weight, excuse me, not weight, mass, mass. Uh, scientists get all you know flipped out if you if you confuse weight and, and mass. It's very important to them. So anyway, the gram is the basic unit of mass. Gram uh, there's about about 28 grams I believe in an ounce. A kilogram is 1,000 grams. A kilogram is about 2.2 pounds. Com com compares to pounds. So. All right, well, let's do the same thing we did last time. Okay, we're gonna use the same exact method. Once you have a method that works, you use it. Use it even if the, you know, it's metric or whatever, who cares? If you got a conversion, do it. Okay, so step one is to write what? You tell me. Louder. Louder, no, okay, All right, yes. I, I'm, that's exactly right. You write down what you're given. I mean, I'm assuming that's what you shouted to the screen. If your parents come by and go, what's, what's, what's going on with this? Just, it's okay, they'll understand. Okay, 528 centimeters, you write that. The next thing you write is a times and then a fraction here. What goes right there? You know it. Centimeters, okay. Now you have to know there are 100 centimeters in a meter. So you go 100 centimeters is in one meter. Now you get to cancel, right? And there we go. And 528 is on top. And that's meters. And divided by 100, well, we can do that in our heads, right? We just go over twice. So 5.28 meters, all right? And again, resist the temptation to go, oh no, I don't need to do this. I already know that there's 5.28. You want to, I mean, if you're doing something like this, you can do it in your head and you know how to do this, that's okay. But train yourself to use the method. The method, that is the thing. It'll get you through the next three years of math doing this. All right, 486 kilograms to grams. Don't think, just write. 486 kilograms, it's kg. Times. What goes right here? Kilograms, okay. So kilograms and grams, there are 1,000 grams in one kilogram. Kilograms cancel. 486 times 1,000 is obviously 486,000. I wrote a one there for heaven's sakes. No, just zeros, okay. And you have G grams is all you have left. That's all, okay. All right. On page 83, try those three practice props and see how you do. At least do A first and then pause it and come back. Okay, 58 meters to centimeters. Write what you're given, 58 meters. Write a new fraction, you multiply. You know there has to be meters on the bottom. Well, one meter is the same thing as 100 centimeters. Then meters cancel out. And then 58 times 100, 5,800 centimeters. There you go. All right, pause it and try B. 100 meters into kilometers. Well, let's try it. 100 meters. Don't even have to think. Just write times something. Meter. Okay. Well, how many meters are in a kilometer? Well, there are a thousand meters in one kilometer. You cross out the meters. We have a hundred on top. We have a thousand on bottom. If you just want to do the division, that's a piece of cake. You know, let's say chop, chop, and then one tenth. You could write one tenth, or you could just write 0 0.1. That's a point. 0.1 of a kilometer, one tenth of a kilometer. Okay, pause it and try C. 
All right, milligrams to grams. How many milligrams are in a gram? Did we talk about that? Okay, 1,000 milligrams in a gram. All right, so let's just, without even thinking, 48,000 milligrams. So you might have heard that term milligram. Oh yeah, so and so milligrams of vitamins and your whatever, okay. All right, no thinking, just write an mg on the bottom. And we go 1,000 milligrams is equal to one gram. So milligrams go away. 48,000 divided by 1,000, just 48. So the answer is 48 grams. There we go. Okay. All right. That should do it. You guys have a great day. Get the, Do a great job on these practice problems today. Try to get 25 or more right. All right. If it takes you 30 seconds to do a good job, better, better job on each one, just take it. It's okay. You'll have plenty of time at the end of the day. You're homeschooled. Come on. You got up at probably about noon, right? Okay. Bedtime's about 7 o'clock at night? Okay. All right. See you guys next time. Take care.